Creating a stained glass digital painting in Procreate doesn't need to be difficult. I'm going to break down the steps and show you how easy and satisfying it really is. Here are a few examples of the look that we're going for, even if it's not the theme or subject matter. Here are the steps we're going to take. First, we need to talk about materials, then inspiration, setting up the canvas, line work, adding color, adding texture, and finally, printing it and sharing it on social media. What are you going to need? You'll need an iPad that can handle Procreate and an Apple Pencil. As far as I know, only the iPad Pro and perhaps the newer iPad Minis can handle the Apple Pencil. You'll also need the Procreate application, although I suppose you could use Photoshop or Affinity Designer. I won't be explaining how to use those, but the ideas here can be used there too. Finally, you'll need an idea or some inspiration for the art you want to make. To generate inspiration, you could wait for the muse to visit you, or you could go out and make some art. Take 10 minutes, actually just 5, and go online to Pinterest, typing in something that you're interested in. I have some ideas on the next slide too that you might enjoy. Books are also a source of inspiration, so hit up a library or just go through your bookshelves and see if you can find something interesting. Pick two or three things to incorporate so that it's not just a bird flying, but it's something more. Don't choose something too small or too detailed because stained glass loses detail. You'll want something that has strong, vibrant colors. Brainstorm some of your favorite things to draw. Here are some ideas that you can use, but don't be afraid to try this and fail because you'll only end up learning something, and learning is the point. Setting up your canvas on Procreate is easy. You'll need to do it so that it's at least 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. That should be big enough to provide you with enough layers to move around. If you have already decided you will print this, it's a good idea now to, to, to use that size that you're going to print it in instead of starting smaller and stretching out your image. That can cause pixelation. In your first layer, choose a pencil brush and sketch out what you want to draw. Create the outline in black on a separate layer. Choose a color palette. The website Color Hunt has some good color palettes that are fun to play with. Colorhunt.co is where you would need to go. You'll want to make sure that what you are doing is in separate layers. Group the warm colors together, group the cool colors together. Do this all on separate layers because then you can mass edit the colors if you want to change the hue or saturation. Also, don't forget to not leave any white spots when you're coloring in. So to get the stained glass effect, you're going to be using clipping masks over your layers. Um, so you need to do the color first so that you can add the layer effect afterwards. And what I like to do is actually just use one or two pictures and just move them around. And you can see that here. Um, I have a few resources that I'm going to provide uh, links to, so you can download those. Those are all free to use from the internet. Now that we've added texture, we are going to add the drop shadow and the inner glow. When you see stained glass, you're seeing it through a window, and so there's light coming from the other side. Uh, but there's also going to be a little bit of offset darkness. So to incorporate that into your piece, you're going to want to add a drop shadow and an inner glow. How you'll do that is you'll duplicate your outer layer, add a slight Gaussian blur, and move the layer a tiny bit to the right or left or to a corner to give it a drop shadow. Then similarly, you're going to add an inner glow. To add the inner glow, you're going to draw a bit of white on a new layer and then use the blur and change the mode to add and reduce the opacity until it's just a little bit um, showing up. As you can see here in the picture on the left, you add a little bit of glow just to the bigger shapes so that um, the light comes through. You're not going to add it to all shapes because the smaller shapes are not going to get that much light. Printing your work on things like pillows, cushions, phone cases, canvases, or anything else you can think of is really easy to do. There are many print-on-demand sites or even local drugstores that offer printing. Go to their websites or search for print-on-demand sites online. Thank you so much for joining me today as I walk you through how to create a stained glass digital painting on Procreate. Follow me on social media and show me what you've made. 
I'm on Instagram at adrianpriceart. My website is adriansprice.com.